Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Feed the Beast Season 2. Alright guys, how you doing? This is our oil rig, how we've been doing. We got it pumping and uh, we've got quite a lot of oil here guys. I've got it uh, going right now. I want to give you guys just a sneak peek of what it looks like. Climbing up top, you can see the redstone engines pumping. So the only thing that's kind of weird is that the oil's got to go all the way up from down below and then back down the tower. Um, unfortunately, that's how we had to do it because the uh, first source block started so high. But let's whoop, go down here and check it out. All these you can see are still source blocks. We started getting a little bit here, but all of those are still source blocks. So we've got lots and lots of oil to collect here still. We've got almost all of those... Um, three uh, tanks above filled so uh, yeah we need to work on where we're gonna send that and that's what we're gonna work on right now we're gonna take our little handy dandy mining turtle and um, we're gonna go right through this mountain actually um, what I want to do there's a really cool um, space I don't know if you want to call it a lagoon or um, yeah I don't know that might be a good name for it but um, it's sort of secluded. It's got these giant mountains all around it. It's got water underneath it, and it's just sort of encased in itself. And I think that would be a fabulous place to build our base camp at. So what I'm going to do is just going to run this turtle through one of the default programs of Tunnel, and I'm going to set it for about 100, maybe. Um, this is a pretty long way through this mountain. I'm going to guess about... Maybe 150. No. Hmm. Let's, uh, well, we need to make sure we have fuel in there. So we'll put 13 in there and let's, uh, refuel. Now, if you just type in refuel the way I did, it'll take one, um, fuel unit from the first, or the cell that's selected, I should say. Now, if you pull up the Lua, er, er, yeah, the, the Lua, Lua interface and type turtle.refuel empty parentheses the way I just did, it'll take all of the fuel sources in the selected block and use that to fill it up. Get fuel level shows us that we've got 1040 in fuel. So it took all 12 of those remaining and put it into our uh, fuel tank. So we should have more than enough fuel and let's go ahead and just do tunnel 100 and oh, son of a, I always forget not to stand on the dang thing whenever you start the tunneling but there it goes uh, I'll put a little marker torch down that's where we started from and uh, we will just let this guy get to work and we'll check back in a little bit All right, guys, so uh, we actually had to extend it two additional times, but I hear a zombie. We're almost through. It should be right on the other side. A couple more hits by this thing. Um, boy, I don't know. I'm pretty impatient here. Oh, man, come on. All right, let's give it a little bit more tunnel. Uh, I don't know, five. All right, nothing there. Go, go, go. I can see the zombie on my mini-map. He is right there. Come on. Let's... Oh, jeez. Patience, right? <laughs> Where is this guy? Let's take a peek. We don't want that turtle getting us. Let's uh, terminate the program here. Control-T. Hold it down and terminate it. There we go. Oh, I saw his head. <laughs> zombie villager... Er, I'm sorry, angry zombie villagers are just hilarious looking in my opinion. Let's drop down there and take this sucker out. Um, come on, how do we... We got it? No, here we go. Whoop! And done. All right. So this is the, for lack of a better term, lagoon that I was talking about, guys. See how it's sort of surrounded by high walls on all sides? It's got water underneath. It's lush. It's got that cool water fountain or water fountain, waterfall coming out of that mountain across the way. It's just really cool looking. I think uh, it'd be a really great place to uh, build a base. Let's uh, 
take a peek around at the backside. There's uh, a far wall. We'll be able to do a lot with it. And there's our tunnel that we're going to fancy up to. Let's, uh, I'm actually going to take care of that now, off camera, of course. All right, so here's just a little bit of the tunnel that I did. Uh, tons of work, but uh, would have bored the crap out of you guys. So uh, I've, w I've gone ahead and I've done that, and I've also went and marked off our first project over here. What I want to do, and here's a look at what the uh, tunnel looks like from this perspective. I wanted to use furnaces because I had so much excess cobble. Uh, so that's why they're in the design, but I think they look good. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to have all these different uh, platforms, um, platforms for uh, generating power, for sorting things, for refining our oil, for um, storing things, just all kinds of stuff. And so that's going to be our first project is building one of these platforms today. So I've gone ahead and set up a temporary workstation here. We've got uh, our standards. We've got a furnace. We've got a crafting bench. Uh, ender chest with a bunch of goodies from our temporary base over where we were mining. We've got a uh, extra barrel that uh, is empty. Uh, silver chest and, like I said, iron furnace. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to cut here and uh, do a bit of work up there. And uh, hopefully save you guys a little bit of, of time. Presto change. Oh, it's magic. <laughs> we just turned dirt into iron scaffolding, guys. Those are going to be um, support arms coming out of our wall holding our first platform. Now, I'm not sure if I want to, going forward, have other platforms off of just walls or if I can connect them to each other. That might be kind of cool. But uh, as you can see right now, they go six uh, blocks out from the wall. That's the uh, max that the iron scaffolding will go. So we're going to have to build the other side out from the actual platform itself uh, because I want it further out than what it is now. I want it about there. So uh, that's what we're going to work on next is uh, the base of that platform. All right. Uh, sorry, guys. I had to jump back in. The air around you suddenly becomes infused with something, something, something. Did you guys see that message? I got some sort of particle effect. What in the heck does that mean? I've never seen that before. I've been playing Feed the Beast and Tech It, uh, which I know they're different, but uh, for over a year now. Never seen that message. If you know what it is, let me know because it just baffled me. All right. Back to work. All right, so I had to go back to my base and get some more materials, but we got a whole bunch of work done, and so I thought I'd give you a long view of our tunnel here, using mostly stone and cobble, a little bit of this uh, basalt from volcanoes, and ta-da! We've got a big old platform up there, and I think it turned out awesome. Uh, we use some cool materials here. We've got a whole bunch more in the inventory because we've got a lot to work on still today. Uh, so let let me get up onto our platform. And uh, first thing that I want to mention, I think I have a little bit of time here, is uh, I don't want to use anything, if possible, from the um, Red Power mod pack because I plan on upgrading, hopefully, if possible, from my this world which is running on the uh, Feed the Beast Ultimate mod pack. I'd like to... Uh, oh, that hurt. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to switch over to the uh, Feed the Beast Unleashed mod pack because it uh, is much more current with the version of Minecraft. I think it's on 1.5.2, which was the last mod before 1.6 came out. So they're doing actually pretty good there. But uh, they had to dump Red Power out of that mod pack because the developer just sort of gave up on it. So it's either be stuck back, I believe this is 147, or um, or wait and uh, try and uh, switch over to the different mod pack. And plus there's a couple other mods that will keep things fresh. 
and different. So anyway, here we go. Here's our platform, guys. You can see the support arms, and what I'm doing is just putting uh, a lever on our, our redstone lamps. Again, here's sort of a, a, a for instance where if I was using the red power stuff, I would use their lighting because I, I love those lamps. And you can have inverted lamps so that you don't have to put any sort of redstone signal to them. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. You can pick whatever color you want. But again, I want to avoid that because if I do convert, I don't know what would happen if I use those blocks. If there would just be blank spaces, if it would make the world crash, I don't know. So uh, we're going to use as much stuff or everything not from that mod pack that I can think of, which means a lot of build craft stuff. All right, so uh, I want to go over some of the building materials that we did use. Uh, if you see uh, these blocks right here, actually, I need to get a switch down there. We go. Um, bingo. There's all of our torches, but. Uh, Let's go over some of the blocks that we used here. The uh, white blocks that you see, that's the main block that I want to build this platform out of, but uh, that's actually aluminum block. It's from the uh, Zycraft um, mod pack, and uh, it's it's at aluminum. You, so you see it everywhere, and you can't find a use for it. Well, I think the block looks really cool. It's sort of an industrial-looking block, but you need nine of those ores, so... Um, as I get more, that's what we're going to make um, these platforms out of with the uh, half slabs around the outside. So if you didn't guess what we were doing here based on the title of the episode and the blocks that I'm placing now, uh, we are making Coke ovens. All right, there we go. And uh, you just do it simply by making a 3x3x3 uh, three by three by three cube with the designated uh, coal coke oven blocks and uh, you can look them up how to make them but uh, and you leave the space in the middle empty so then you put uh, coal in that first block and you get coal coke out of it and then the uh, fuel that fills up is that creosote oil and it's like a greenish grayish sort of muddy mucky fuel uh, that's used to make rails in railcraft they changed the the uh, the recipe is is different to make uh since it is a railcraft rail and not standard minecraft rail so i actually made enough of these blocks to have two um coke ovens and the main reason for that is that they take an extremely long amount of time to actually process coal but I want to i want to convert our coal over to that because it's much uh more powerful uh, you get a lot more out of it. It produces more heat, more power. Uh, it'll be better for our turtles instead of just regular coal. And I'm thinking maybe even using it in generators. And we'll talk about the comparison between regular coal and uh, coal coke in a second here. But I want to get the final piece of our platform built. And that's going to be an iron tank. Um, I believe this is Railcraft as well the the mod that it's from and I want to use the iron tank to store that creosote oil from the uh, coke ovens now you saw that they have um, internal storage and I think it was 64,000 units but uh, I'd like to I'd like to take advantage of the space here uh, to uh, to store it store a large quantity of it anyway so uh, uh, last season I made a couple of these, and uh, it's it's really easy. You make the uh, tank walls and the, the tank valves, which is how you interact by putting things in and out. That's what I put in the bottom middle piece there. And then there's these uh, tank gauges, which is the glass. And uh, you just sort of make whatever design you want. You can have these windows on the side be as big or as, big or as small as you like. Uh, the dimensions have to be a certain way. Um, there's different uh, dimensions, but uh, they are specific. So anyway, you can look all that information up. Uh, it's not really that difficult to do. Uh, blabbing on about this tank, and uh, we've gone ahead and finished it. Boom! Go ahead and right-click, and you'll see that it's done because it gives you the interface, and this is going to hold 2 million units of liquid. And in our case, that's going to be 2 million units of creosote oil. And man, 
Can I not jump? <laughs> Holy cow. Um, so I thought one thing that might look kind of good is if we put ladders up on the side of these Coke ovens and throw our bow. <laughs> no, I'll grab the bow back. But if you, we throw these ladders up this side just to sort of decorate these things up, I mean, they're not the most spectacular looking things. Uh, so if we put ladders up, that also allows us to get up there and uh, fill up the item without right-clicking. We're going to use these hoppers uh, for the first... Uh, first batch and what, what we're going to do well we only have 64 coal on us right now but uh, we're going to convert all of that over into um, coal coke uh, so let me get this uh, plopped down because we need to do we need some build craft pipes uh, to be able to get liquids out and get the uh, coal coke once it's finished out so we've got lots of this waterproofing. We're going to make a bunch of that stone waterproof pipe. We're going to need two wooden waterproof pipes. And we're going to run these out of the bottom of the Coke ovens now. One thing that's pretty cool about the Coke ovens is that uh, you could run these pipes um, from, I think, almost any side but the top. Uh, you can use the si any side, you can use the bottom, you can use any block on the bottom. It doesn't have to be a certain designated, like, this one input side spot block is where you output from. Uh, so I'm going to put this right here, which is on this last block on the end, but on the bottom still. And same for this one. They're going to have the same setup. I'm going to put these two redstone engines on top of the lamps. And they should be uh, going now because they, they're getting the power. Oh, wait a second. I have to switch those levers down below and actually put them on the uh, lamp itself, not on the block below. Yep, that's going to be a problem. All right, anyway, let's, um, let's run the rest of our piping here before we get too involved with that. And we're just going to... Put our waterproof stone piping down like so. Go all the way down. We want to leave enough room for walking. And um, now the iron tanks, they do have one only one block that you can interact with. That's that uh, valve. And uh, that should connect it up there. We need, uh, we actually need to get an iron, iron waterproof pipe for that block that I skipped over. That's going to be coming out of the second Railcraft uh, Coke oven. So, yeah, I don't have any iron. We're going to have to go take care of that. All right, so this is just real quick. I made a little scaffolding out of dirt. We need to bust this lever up. Uh, it fell. Yes, it did. Dang it. Oh, that's a pain. All right, number two lever. We got that one. All right. Boom. Let's flick it. And can we see an angle for our redstone engine? No, that's the backside. That doesn't show us. That doesn't show us really anything, does it? <laughs> All right, let's bust this uh, makeshaft dirt scaffolding down. And uh, let's see if we can find a different angle to see those redstone engines working. There you go. We're back up on the platform, guys. And you can see that they're pumping away. Uh, we're going to put down our iron pipe and hit it with the wrench so that it has the proper outflow one way towards the iron tank. Perfect. And um, let's see. I'm going to finish up putting some more ladders on these things just to sort of give it a symmetrical look. And uh, it also is functional because it allows us to climb up there and have access to the hopper, which eventually will probably run some pipes into that as well. But for right now, I think uh, with the ladders, it'll work out. So now we need an output somewhere to store our cold coke once this is all finished running. And we're going to do that with simply some of this glass viewer, uh, a chest, uh, some regular transport, wooden transport pipes. Uh, we're just going to do one on either side. And again, it doesn't matter which side these are coming out of, which is so cool about uh, the uh, Railcraft mod. It's, it's really thought out and, and built well. Uh, we're going to put a chest right in the middle, right between them, sort of floating. Why don't we put down some of these? Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. Glass 
uh, glass viewers right like that. Those are going to have to be our redstone engines, which are going to assist in pulling out the uh, cold coke. And we're going to put one block there with the lever. Do we have a lever? We'll have to make a lever real quick. We have one stick left. Perfect. One stick for one lever. Goes right between, and we flick that. There's our redstone engines, and it should... Well, that should work in pulling out the the uh, cold coke. We're gonna have to test that, but we can jump over that still, which is nice. It's, it's not too high, uh, so that's another nice little added piece of functionality. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these ladders up on the front of this as well. That way, it's sort of unbiased as to which side we're on, if we need access to the top. So we've got that done now. Let's go ahead and uh, put half a stack in this hopper. And see, it work. Those work almost the same as the uh, new vanilla Minecraft hoppers. But uh, another thing that uh, want, well, let's see if we can do this parkour jump. Ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, that was close. Holy cow! All right, we're gonna get that eventually if it's possible. But uh, anyway, you put the coal in there, and what I was saying about the Coke oven is it doesn't take any additional power uh, to convert one coal into one coal coke coal coke coke coal coke coal i think it is anyway uh it's nice because you're getting more bang for your buck and all you're spending on it is a little bit of time so that we've definitely got guys i'm going to go afk here for a minute and let these uh, these guys do some work all right guys we're back and uh, production is flowing here's our first bit of creosote oil it's going to our empty tank let's watch it it should populate in here at any second now just keep on watching there we go 500 so each uh each coal coke is 500 looks like we got another bit going in there from the second coke oven and we've got coal coke all right, so I want to get into the uh, the differences here of why we're actually doing this setup. Uh, one, we need, we're going to do railcraft stuff, so we need the creosote oil. But if you look at the 4K EU at 10 EU per tick, and then the cold coke is 16K per 10 EU. Basically, what's that what that saying? What that is saying is that the cold coke is four times or generates four times as much power as regular coal does so basically we're multiplying what we have for power by simply running it through these uh, these uh, ovens pretty awesome stuff we're getting more power out of less materials and uh, we're storing up some creosote oil so we can get into making some railcraft rails and some cool stuff with that so uh, that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I am really excited about where we're heading with this series. Uh, really like this platform base idea. I hope you guys dig it, too, because it's going to be a lot of work. But uh, it's going to be the focus for a lot of our episodes coming up here in the near future. So uh, stay tuned to that. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to throw a like on there. And uh, I will check you guys all in the next episode. We'll see ya.